Welcome guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Industries episode 20. We actually caught up to the Streamer's Tongue series that I did earlier on on the channel. So City Skylines Industries episode 20. You guys have a lovely day today. I'm sounding a bit weird because I have to call a little bit of a runny nose right now. But anyway, thank you guys for all the support on the channel. Thank you guys for all the subs. See you guys in game. Oops, what did I do? So, yes, as I said last episode, we'll be expanding. Let's check out how. Oops. Check out how down here is in that's what I love it. And it's you with workers on this end. But they can come down here, there's a metro station. So that we just don't have enough workers. Nine passengers. Seems to be that. Let's see, is there any junctions? Guys, we have all the transport in the city except plane transport. Where are we gonna fit that? Probably around here. We obviously have the money for it. We have this unlocked. That's a lot of money for upkeep. So what if we do something like this? Ooh, wow. That's a lot of flattening to do.
And there you have it. We got a connection. So that should work itself out eventually. And we have a garbage issue down here. Oh, wow. Let's see, one truck is... Just for not that tourism area there. We have a garbage issue down there. Why is that? Alright, so I think we need to actually have a dedicated garbage district. Because like we have garbage issues all over the place. In random spots. So we should have a dedicated garbage disposal area. Don't seen any trains use this yet. Probably because it's right near transport. Come on, at least one. Wow, that's strange. Yes, and I'm still a bit stuffy on the nose. It's a very busy train line, and not one train decides to go to the cargo. Area. Let's see if we even get a vehicle. Nope. No luck there. These guys are piling up garbage. Oh wow. I could in fact... I wonder if we can squeeze a line out of there. Should be able to. Underlying all of there. For the garbage disposal area. That's something I thought I would never see. Hopefully it sorts itself out. We are low on money. May need to raise taxes a bit again. Oh no, it's sorting itself out. Slightly. Alright, I just saw a train came in. It's finally working. Yep. And they are actually splitting up to go two separate directions. Depending on which route they want to come out from. Oh, another trick we have to use with Move It is to get. Right, we are finally on the positive now. We should pick back up now. is to get a metro station Let's put it there. and just move it
petrol station right below. A losing population for some reason. That's probably why we Where's the transport hub? one here and make a line from here to here and back we should in fact Change the colors on our metro because they are all green. I so people can actually tell the difference. Maybe. Who knows? We're kind of a serious start wave going on right now. Do we have any um, Wow. Wow. Drop the controls there. It's ridiculous. Quite down here. Let's drop one here in case the tourism there has any issues. One there. This district has none. Imagine that and another plane is passing over my head. These guys have. These guys have. Might as well drop one in the old district. These guys have. Let's check on the hill here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I still don't get why these guys garbage is piling up. When there's a garbage disposal stuff right here. That can simply go around the hill and get down there. Oh well, it's always an issue. This is a huge city, a very huge one indeed. Right, so. Airport system. It's below a uh, train line there. We have some commercial growth but residential right now is decreasing let's see why it's probably because of the education let's check the education hopefully 
elementary schools all right high schools all right all of us the universities is definitely all right so it's not the well it's slightly that because if you watch here we have education on these hills these guys have because there's one right there for university high school these guys still have a connection to high school these guys have to travel all the way down here to get to high school that's probably the issue this district has no high school or elementary school let's work on that drop an elementary school there drop a high school here that should make them happy and that should increase our population yep there goes the upgrades so that was the issue a bit of districts without schools Wow, that's some dread upgrades there. We're losing a bit of money, but with the upgrades and increase in population, we should have more. Yep, and we have an increase in population. should have less money being used to maintain those villains let's see I think that was the only district without a high school all oh, right up here needs a high school an elementary school it needs one too and there goes the upgrades up here I need an elementary school. Trying just to get one villain, but like that is not working out. Elementary school there. Middle high school, I'll drop one here. And we should have a very rapid increase in population and stuff right our population is going up the money we have right now it's a bit low wow this is one of the nicest high-tech districts ever I guess fully grid style and there's just high-rise everywhere it looks nice in the night also Then there's this district that I added lately. I think this district can actually extend to come down there. The Waki train connection. I think they should actually add lights to the train lines. Wait a minute. Is this a cargo train station that has no connection to up here? Oh, blue figures. That's why I haven't seen any cargo trains down here. That sucks. We found an issue with the train line. Wow. Who would have thought? But we have an issue right here in our eyes. I guess we have to move this one in with move it. Hmm. 
Right. We got that down. And as we did that, we got a button back in. What the hell is going on here? Well, I believe one of those guys decides to despawn. It's gonna be an issue of in this right there. Alright, so soon we should see some cargo trains coming into the station down here. And not only from that direction, we should see some coming from across the map to drop off here. There is something new that I probably did not place in the city. Warehouse. Factories. Do we have any unique factories in the city? I doubt we do. Oh, we have a f fire down there. Oh, that's outed. And then we have another fire right across the road. She's in the These are electrics. We have 86% traffic, that's good for a city of this size. The main traffic issue is on the complex transport system. Now I see another issue, before we build out there, I can see another issue. That they are slow, no other junction. Oh, well, that's expected. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I have an idea here. Yeah, let's just put up transport on the truck. Just leave. I have a policy to work we have money back, we are dead on population. I think that's most of the issues solved. Most of the issues. Right, so once the population grows, we should have people to work in our districts that that was the issue we had of no population to work in certain districts which was caused by no schools and now there's a helicopter passing over my head wow when you live near the airport that's the issue how much people? five wow well as I said, the population was low, so there was no one to actually work in the oil district, which we can see is actually sorted out slightly. Just have like, is that all? Five buildings, we just have five buildings without workers. 
Um, so these guys have full on oil. Yeah. Wow. Producing that much oil. All right. The oil. Oh, we still have some down here also. Soon that issue shall be solved, and uh, more transport will be down here. I have automatic balloons on, so even if they go abandoned, that will automatically be able. I wanted to know why you still have garbage. It's like there's a garbage station right on the other side of the road, like literally somewhere around here. But yes. Wow. Wow, this district is definitely a 5 star due to how much petroleum and plastic we are producing and oil, 19 barrels, 21 barrels going into plastics, 6 barrels going out. We are losing money again. Why is that now? We are losing money rapidly. What's the problem? We just have a game. We did. We just lost for the fourth time. Third time in a row, four time in total. Sheesh, what's going on with our football team? I nearly know all the people from the. That area is actually using a metro system that's right here. So the metro sh should have. Some of these metros are not connected, so like these metros here. Wow. Wow. 286 per week. Sheesh. Do we have any policies on in the city? No free transport. Just move down. That's needed because. And my walkover system is actually working. I have to do some detailing under this walkover system. Literally. Probably do that next episode. It's getting about time to wrap up the episode a bit. Too much time actually. I passed the time limit a long time. Alright guys, this time I'm not going to do cinematic. Let's just... Watch the Northern Lights over. Right. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries episode 20. Thank you guys for tuning in. As you can see on the screen now, we did add two major buildings to the city. In regards to the transport system, we added the cargo airport, the huge one, I forgot what it's called. And we also added a small passenger airport, or normal airport as we call it. I had I did not have enough space to add the international airport because we are technically building on a hill and I had to flatten, as you may have seen in the episode, I had to flatten half of the hill to actually get those two airports to fit. But guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries. Hope you guys enjoyed the series so far. Episode 20. Hope you guys enjoyed the series so far. If you like 
the series and want to see more feel free to drop a like and a subscribe to the video don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified when city skylines goes out for you and all you guys on patrons don't forget if you support the channel on patreon you get to add your name to the end of all videos like it should be on screen right, um, right about now for all you patrons and twitch subscribers so if you don't want to support the channel on patreon or you don't have the time as we say to support the channel on patreon that's okay and you want to support the channel on twitch you can subscribe to the channel on twitch at twitch.tv slash ashbosh1234 if you want to check the patreon page it's patreon.com slash ashbosh g thank you guys again for all the support ashbosh out all links in the description below peace